Hey guys. So our mission with Pocket Lab is to engage students in hands-on learning. And this idea started while I was getting my PhD at Stanford in engineering and the frustration that I had using lab equipment. So let's start out by answering the obvious question, what is Pocket Lab? It's a small wireless sensor that connects with a single button to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. And in seconds, you can start to visualize data in real time. It integrates with other programs like Google Docs and Excel, so you can analyze your data. And in seconds, you can measure things like magnetic fields, or pressure, or temperature, and make experiments out of that. So why is this important? Well, up on the screen are equations of motion. So this describes a physics problem. And I don't know about you, but this is pretty hard to get excited about. Um, and textbooks and, and physics teaching are combined to this kind of um, space. But we know that um, through research, hands-on lab activities help learning. They increase the outcomes of our students. But there's a risk that we run is if we use complex lab equipment, we could turn our students into lab technicians rather than training the creative scientists that we want to problem solve in the next generation. So I want everybody in here to imagine you're in a physics classroom. That might be exciting for some of you, might be scary for others. <laughs> and I'll be the teacher for today, and we're going to learn about the angular velocity of rigid bodies. So who's excited about this? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. We got a lot of nerds in the room. Um, well, luckily, for the non-nerds, that's just a fancy way of saying spinning. And we can use something like gymnastics as a way to illustrate this and ground it in real life. Gymnastics is a beautiful demonstration of rotating in three dimensions, and it engages students. So here's my friend Cindy. She has a pocket lab taped around her waist, and in a second we'll be able to measure her rotation as she spins, does cartwheels, and flips. We're getting this data in real time, and you can connect it with what you're seeing. This whole experiment took us about a minute to set up. And then you can take it and move it into the classroom. Here's our physics teacher, Robbie, demonstrating for students. And then the students breaking into groups, gathering their own data, and analyzing it together. You can do this for magnetic fields inside the classroom, or you can slip it inside of a soccer ball and look at acceleration outside the classroom. You could attach it to a weight and look at force, altitude by launching it from a water balloon launcher, None of this was possible for students and teachers before Pocket Lab because they had to worry about things like setup, robustness, um, wireless technology. is all enabled by our new device. So where are we at? Right now we have a sensor which connects to our app. And we're quickly building cloud software. And what the cloud software will do is enable three things. One is analysis of data. So you can take those experiments and pull out in interesting information. Two is collaboration and sharing, so people can work on this in groups. And three is contributing to global databases so that we can become citizen scientists through Pocket Lab. We charge $98 for the hardware unit. The app is free, and we apply a freemium model to our cloud software. And we're building out a suite of products so that you'll be able to use Pocket Lab in the chemistry classroom or for earth science or for biology. And then eventually, any kind of sensor will be able to plug into our cloud software. So you'll be able to harness the power of our web tools with other data sources. And we're really excited to announce today that the National Science Foundation is funding a grant for us to build that cloud software. In phase one, we get 150 k to do a proof of concept. And if successful, we get 750 k to implement our whole system. So let's put this in context of the markets. In terms of science equipment used in education, there are educational wings of some big companies you've probably heard of, Texas Instruments and National Instruments, as well as companies that just specifically do lab equipment for education, like Vernier, Pasco, about a dozen others. We're part of this existing market, and we estimate the revenue to be about $400 million per year. Now, there's another exciting market that's emerging. This is around maker education. And these are platforms like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and LittleBits that are really grabbing headlines. 
is because they're growing so quickly. It's, it's growing at a weight, rate of about 45% per year. And we're the first product that really bridges the gap between these two markets. We address both the educational uses in the classroom and use cases for makers. So here's our traction so far. We launched on Kickstarter in March, and we sold about $115,000 of products. We spent the summer manufacturing, and then began shipping in August. And we've been growing through sales on our own website since then. And then we have sales lined up for next year, already 3,000 units. We're able to do this because it's a low cost piece of, um, like a lab supply, rather than capital equipment that schools are buying. So for example, a teacher bought one in August to test out. He liked it, he bought 10 for his classroom in September, and then recommended it to his district. They bought 130 in October. So far, our global sales have been about 2,000 units shipped to 43 different countries. Roughly one third of that has been international, and about half educators, half makers. And we're getting great feedback so far. A big focus of our the last few months has been on supporting our users, because we really believe our user community is going to help sustain our growth and spread our idea. What we're looking for are partners in curriculum. These are textbook companies that want to add Pocket Lab to their existing curriculum. Distributors to help us sell into new channels, so education resellers, people like that. And STEM programs that could use Pocket Lab for their existing activities and augment what they're already doing. Then if anybody knows Neil deGrasse Tyson, we wouldn't mind a celebrity endorsement or two. <laughs> that would help us out. Um, so help us change science education, and we're Pocket Lab. Thank you.